Whether you want to walk in the footsteps of the British royal family or simply find the perfect afternoon tea, every traveler should visit London at least once in their lifetime. The international metropolis is not only the capital of England, but its roots date back to the Roman era. Today, it's a thriving hub of culinary diversity, cultural attractions, and, of course, historic sites. Regardless of your age or who you're traveling with, London offers something for everyone. From famous historic landmarks like Big Ben and Westminster Abbey, to modern art galleries and markets, there's plenty to see and do in the U. K. Capital. Whether you spend your trip shopping on Oxford Street or twirling around the London Eye, hey race where to stay for your upcoming trek across the pond. Where to stay in Mayfair. Kids and parents alike will love staying in Mayfair. Booking a room in the posh area means you're practically neighbors with the Queen herself. With Buckingham Palace located just a short walk away. It's located near three royal parks, Hyde Park, Green Park, and Stay. James Park. Making it the perfect place to stop for a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. Mayfair is also a quick walk to the shopping in Oxford Circus, the Art in the National Gallery, and the delicious treats at Fordham and Mason's. It's one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in London, but it's still reasonably accessible for travelers. Built across a series of Georgian townhouses, the Mayfair townhouse marries its historic setting with contemporary design and modern flourishes. The decor is opulent and flamboyant, but with a high-end touch that befits the neighborhood. And there is a well-curated collection of original art to accompany the velour furnishings. There are 172 rooms in varying sizes and layouts, including several garden suites that feature courtyard access. Families are welcomed with open arms and parents can opt for interconnecting suites. Cocktail Bar The Dandy Bar serves food and drinks. But there's a lot to discover around the hotel as well. Nestled in the heart of Park Lane. The Dorchester has been a landmark London hotel since the 1930s and was recently renovated in 2023. Today, the five-star hotel retains its luxury vibe with elegant decor and the sort of amenities that typically only belong to celebrity life. There are 19 room types, including terrace suites and two opulent penthouses. Don't miss the refined afternoon tea, served at the Promenade, and the Alain Ducasse at the Dorchester. Awarded three Michelin stars. The hotel caters to families, with numerous add-ons available for young travelers, as well as access to the spa's indoor pool. Where to stay in Covent Garden Having a central location is essential to exploring every last nook and cranny of London. Especially for newbie visitors. There's no better place to do this than Covent Garden, which contains a plethora of attractions and is notably close to many West End theatres. Plenty of tube lines run through this area. So you'll easily be able to explore the city via public transportation. Covent Garden is home to endless pubs, museums, restaurants, markets, and shops, and walking distance to many more. The central location of Covent Garden is perfect for first-time visitors hoping to make the most of their time in London. Opened in 2021. Nomad London is an offshoot of the New York-based Nomad brand and it marries NYC-inspired design with English history. The location, in the midst of Covent Garden, is ideal for visitors looking to make the most of London. The hotel itself is set in a former magistrate's court and police station. And many of the Grade 2 listed details remain. The rooms are luxurious without being over the top 
and there are three sweet options for those looking for something a bit more grand. Dine in the Nomad Restaurant Built inside a glass conservatory Or grab a more casual bite at Side Hustle Henrietta Hotel Found adjacent to Covent Garden Market Is a cozy but elegant boutique property with 40 rooms set across two townhouses. While the guest rooms are relatively small, as befits central London, they are well-appointed and stylishly designed by French decorator Dorothy Milexon. Families and groups can opt for interconnecting rooms as well. There's one on-site restaurant. Henri. Serving British fare with French inspiration. And a small cocktail bar. But the best of Covent Garden is right outside the hotel door. Where to stay in South Bank? In recent years, London's South Bank, located on the south side of the Thames, has become more and more popular with travelers. It's home to museums like the Tate Modern, attractions like the London Eye and Borough Market, and dozens of charming restaurants, pubs, and bars. The area is a great pick for families, as well as solo travelers, who will benefit from the ample amount of countertop restaurants and food stalls around Borough Market. The neighborhood is also walking distance from Covent Garden and Soho, as well as sites like Tower Bridge and Big Ben. It's slightly quirkier than Mayfair and Covent Garden, with a range of hotel options that befit any budget. Citizen MS Outpost in Southwark features 192 rooms that appeal to both leisure and business travelers and is especially great for solo visitors. The guest rooms, while somewhat compact, feature massive beds, well-appointed bathrooms, and have technology that can be controlled easily via an app. There's a bar and restaurant. But discerning guests will seek out nearby spots like Caravan Bankside and Lantana for meals. The hotel is walking distance from Borough Market, the Tate Modern, and Shakespeare's Glow. And it's a quick bus ride to Covent Garden. Book a room with a stunning view of the Thames at Sea Containers London. One of the city's only hotels located directly on the river. The chic design evokes a 1920s transatlantic cruise liner with contemporary rooms and suites that feature custom furniture by British designer Tom Dixon. Within the hotel, there is a spa, two restaurants, and a cocktail bar called Lioness, which is regularly named one of the best in London. In the basement, Visitors will find a plush outpost of Curzon Cinema, which shows the latest movies on weekends. Where to stay in Marylebone. Tucked away behind Oxford Circus and the bustle of Oxford Street. Discerning travelers will discover Marylebone, a central neighborhood that feels local. It boasts a charming high street, as well as a Sunday farmer's market and its walking distance from Regent's Park and Hyde Park. Two of London's best green spaces. Those interested in history can explore the Sherlock Holmes Museum, while art lovers will be right at home in the Wallace Collection. Couples, especially those celebrating a special occasion, should opt for a hotel in the area, which is replete with hip restaurants like Cole. Lura and Chiltern Firehouse. It's the sort of place where you feel like you're in the know. Just off Oxford Street. Guests looking for a more peaceful respite in the heart of the city will discover the Prince Akatoki. A five-star hotel inspired by Japanese design and hospitality. The rooms are elegant and tranquil. With a minimal aesthetic that is not always found in English hotels. The property caters especially to families who can book interconnecting rooms or opt for one of the impressively large suites. Don't pass up dinner at Tokii, 
which serves Japanese cuisine. Or a flight of Japanese whiskey at the intimate malt lounge and bar. Gaze over the London skyline from the Treehouse Hotel London. A nature-inspired property in the heart of Oxford Circus. The modern guest rooms. Feature whimsical details. Feature massive windows. Best experience from the cushy window seats in several of the room types. Families can book connecting suites and kids and adults will love the plush Paddington Bear toys that live in the hotel. LA Import Pizzeria Matza is located downstairs. But the location means that central London is literally at your doorstep. Where to stay in Chelsea? If your wanderlust inspires you to mingle with locals everywhere you go, it's important to stay in an area that isn't overrun by tourists. The Chelsea neighborhood is known among Londoners as a posh place to be. And you'll find plenty of high end boutiques and restaurants along King's Road. During the day, you can explore an art exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery or see a play at the Royal Court Theatre. Knightsbridge, which is home to famed department store Harrods, is a quick walk away. 11. Cadogan Gardens, tucked away from nearby Sloane Square. 11. Cadogan Gardens, London's only relay and chateau's property, is charming and relaxed. With an upscale boutique design that gives each room a unique flair. There are 34 rooms and 22 suites in the main building. Plus six apartments in the apartments at 20, Cadogan Gardens. And 36 rooms in the Chelsea Townhouse. The latter opened in 2023 and the three buildings now make up the Cadogan Gardens collection. The on-site Hans Bar and Grill is a solid option for breakfast or dinner. And the hotel's classic afternoon tea is worth booking. The location is ideal for numerous attractions including the Victoria and Albert Museum, the Saatchi Gallery, and Buckingham Palace. Those in town for the Chelsea Flower Show will find themselves only a few blocks away. Art lovers will feel right at home in the Beaverbrook Townhouse, a five-star hotel set across two Georgian townhouses near Sloan Square. The property, which opened in the fall of 2021, is vibrant and fun, with a design by Nicola Harding that pays homage to London's theatres. The hotel is the sister property to Beaverbrook, Surrey, a country house hotel that is a short jaunt out of the city. Beaverbrook's rooms are as theatrical as their inspiration and have a warm, whimsical vibe that will delight a certain type of guest. There's a Japanese restaurant, the Fuji Grill as well as Sir Frank's Bar, which shows off the hotel's collection of art and collectibles. Where to stay in Shoreditch? Shoreditch is one of London's trendiest neighborhoods, attracting young Londoners and visitors alike with its ever-expanding art scene and vibrant nightlife. Here, you'll find endless street art, clubs, bars, and restaurants featuring cuisines from across the world. Staying in this London neighborhood gives you a local's perspective on the U.K. capital. But it's still just a short ride on the tube away from major tourist attractions. It's a great pick for those who like quirky cocktail bars, hip restaurants, and truly local spots like the nearby Broadway Market and Columbia Road Flower Market. The Mondrian Shoreditch, which took over the Curtain Hotel, has the same understated sense of cool as its neighborhood. With a prime location and a coveted rooftop pool, the hotel is an ideal option for travelers who want something less touristy. The rooms are warehouse chic, with a sparse modern design, and many feature views of the London cityscape. There are several restaurants including Hollywood-inspired laurels on the roof. But some of London's best restaurants, including Brat and Dishoom, are just around the corner.
Don't skip a session at the fitness center. Known as one of the best hotel gyms in town. One of two Nobu hotels in London. The Shoreditch edition shows off an industrial chic design that will appeal to travelers who love contemporary minimalism. The 164 guest rooms and suites are sophisticated and sparse. With a low-key elegance that is both comfortable and calm. There is, of course, a Nobu restaurant on site, along with a fitness center and a cocktail bar. Book a table on the restaurant's alfresco terrace for views of London. Or explore the neighborhood, which is filled with local coffee shops, cocktail bars, and trendy eateries. Where to stay in Notting Hill? While many travelers may be familiar with the bustling market of Portobello Road from watching a certain Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant rom-com, Notting Hill makes for a great place to stay if you want to avoid the typical tourist areas and see the antiques of London. Located just west of Hyde Park, Notting Hill is undeniably appealing. With local restaurants, boutique shops, and an offbeat, artsy neighborhood feel that will appeal to those who'd rather browse an art gallery than wait in line for the London Eye. The hotels in the area tend to be smaller, with the chains located to the south in Kensington, which makes this an ideal pick for solo travelers or young couples. Notting Hill's bohemian spirit is on display in the Portobello Hotel, which boasts 21 rooms that each embrace a different aesthetic. The most infamous is the room with a circular bed and antique Victorian bathtub. But all are dramatically designed and idiosyncratic. Breakfast is served in the room or downstairs. And the cozy lobby sitting room is a great spot to curl up with a book. Leave the kids at home for this one. The Portobello Hotel is the sort of place you return to after a raucous night out and then nurse a hangover over a full English breakfast. Travelers will feel right at home at the Lost Poet. A boutique hotel set in a Victorian townhouse right on Portobello Road. It features only four rooms, all of which are uniquely crafted with antique furnishings and signature colors. It's quirky and intimate, with an option to book the entire property if you're coming with a larger group. Splurge on the Muse A two-level suite with a freestanding tub and a roof terrace with views of the hood while the hotel doesn't have its own restaurant. It's within blocks of some of the best in Notting Hill.